learning to inhabit the body more fully. And that's something we might address a little bit more today. This will develop, as we mentioned, increased awareness and sensitivity in the body. It will develop the mind, its intention, the strength of the intention and the ability of the mind to affect the body. Another uh, analogy I have, an imagery I have, we talked about a corpse-like body. An imagery I often go to is, of course, in a sense, we're all made, of, made out of clay, our physical bodies. So if you think of clay or plaster scene, most people's bodies have become concretized. It's what happens to clay when it's, you haven't been giving it the water. It dries out. Or old plaster scene. Remember when you were a kid, perhaps, and the plaster scene was getting old, it gets hard, dry, and starts to crack. That's a normal person's body. So we're adding, so we're refreshing that clay, that plaster scene. So it becomes plastic again, it becomes moldable, changeable, flexible, movable, adaptable. And we can develop the, pro develop the process where the mind gets better at affecting that change. And the body gets better at reflecting that change, hearing that change, responding to it. So we're able to touch deeper into the body, more clearly, more finely, and the body's able to respond directly and accurately. So again, developing that mind-body connection in a real tangible way. <clears throat> 